awesome wonderful fearless virgos virgos i missed you i love you guys hope you're doing wonderful virgo you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate so that's what we're gonna do <clears throat> before however i start your reading i just wanted to tell you because i'm also a virgo and I know how we Virgos think, how we analyze everything and how we like to observe human behavior and people in different situations and relationships. I was watching last night <clears throat> the new season of Darcy and Stacy on TLC. And <clears throat> yeah, that's a very entertaining uh, show to say the least, but that is not why I'm watching it. Um, I watched the last season completely and I decided to watch this season as well because of one person in particular in that uh, show and that is <clears throat> uh, that happens to be the father of Darcy and Stacy that man is so wise he has so much wisdom he has integrity um, he is humble he has humility uh, I just wish the producers would give him more time to speak, to express his thoughts and views, uh, because that man has so much wisdom uh, that would be beneficial <clears throat> for people to hear more often, yeah, to express, uh, to share with others. Uh, I wish I could meet him in person and just talk to him, be his friend or at least acquaintance. Uh, I find him to be so intriguing. Uh, so real, yeah, so real, wise, <clears throat> and humble, yeah, love, love listening to him, even though uh, he doesn't say that much, uh, I wish they would concentrate more on him uh, than they do, but um, the show is, to say in one word, entertaining, <laughs> very entertaining, yeah, <clears throat> so I watched like three hours of it yesterday, I think it was on for three hours. Okay, Virgo, so we're going to do your reading. <clears throat> Thank you for all your beautiful letters, your love. I love you so much, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you more than you realize. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Virgo, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, <clears throat> we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time. Mm, whoever they are, they love you. Ugh, they heartbroken, Virgo. They heartbroken over losing you. They want to communicate, but they little stubborn. They holding back communication at this time. They feel very hurt for some reason. You said something to them that hurt them deeply, but you told the truth. Yeah, you didn't sugarcoat. Virgo, they respect you a lot. They view us very different from others, very different, attractive. You stand out in a crowd of many. Yeah, this person has a hard time expressing emotions for some reason to you. Um, mm, they're showing up as attractive, successful, popular, uh, but uh, hard time expressing emotions. They're holding back right now. Oh, they love you. Virgo, this is not over. <clears throat> this person is not done with this situation. This person holds a lot of deep, genuine love for you, but they're scared of feeling such deep emotions for you and not knowing where this is going, whether it's truly over or if there's another chapter. Wow. <laughs> Whenever we look on the bottom of the deck, it's for good reason. <clears throat> so, because we meant to see it. So let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life. And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> Let's see, Virgo. Ooh. Virgo, you showing up as Empress, but reversed for some reason. Oh my goodness, Virgo. Yeah, the two of you are not together right now. This person is checking up on you. 
um, there's somebody else interested in you, but you're not interested in that person. Yeah, you're not interested. There's somebody else that's really sneaking up on you, checking up on you regularly, kind of keeping tabs on you, spying on you. Um, that's uh, really into you big time, but you are you either not into them or you don't even notice them. This is you. you. This is you feeling at times that you have such bad luck in relationships. Uh, so if you feel that way, uh, Virgo, we all should feel this way because relationships are very challenging to say the least. Yeah, relationships are very challenging. So Virgo, please don't be so hard on yourself. Ooh, so yeah. <clears throat> so you said something to your soulmate that you wish you didn't say. Maybe you said it while you were venting or in anger, but you were honest. You didn't sugarcoat. This person wants so badly to communicate with you. So there's two messages here. The person that you let go of, that you walked away from, yeah, uh, wants to communicate with you, to clear the air with you. You really wish that you could have another new beginning new chapter with this person you still love this person yeah you still do but it shows very clearly that the person you let go of that you walked away from didn't reciprocate while you were in their life didn't communicate effectively didn't listen didn't meet you halfway so you got frustrated and exhausted and drained yeah this is you concentrating heavily on what's important in your life but Right now, you're kind of feeling down about this connection. Universe, please show us. I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Virgo. This will get better. Yeah, it will. Universe, please show us. Um, you're very protecting. Uh, you're very much protecting your heart. You're very guarded emotionally. Universe, please show. That means you've been through a lot of heartbreak in your life. Universe, please show us uh, what's coming up for Virgo in their life. And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, look how guarded you are. You don't trust anybody with your heart at this time. You're very guarded with your heart. Yeah. This is you. Uh, you temporarily lost faith in love, in relationships. But that just means that you've been through some severe uh, heartbreak. Yeah. This is you trying to heal, trying to make sense of things. Yeah. Your person that you let go of is trying to be patient, waiting for you to cool off whenever that cooling off may happen, they think. Uh, they, they're trying to find a way to approach you. Yeah, you see, it's not over. Yeah, this person is waiting for the right time to approach you. Yeah, they're checking up on you, curious how you're doing, what's going on in your life. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you felt drained, exhausted, unappreciated because this person didn't meet you halfway. They put little very little effort work communication into this relationship and you put in so much more you felt unbalanced exhausted drained oh this person wants to break this silence with you they do they want to break this silence yeah you see so they do recognize that you let them go for valid reasons yeah that they didn't offer uh, a solid relationship didn't communicate didn't express emotions yeah whether they couldn't or were scared to, whatever the reason was, they didn't meet you halfway. You had no choice but to release them. So they understand that, which is a good thing. Yeah, Virgo, you've done all you could do. So now the ball is in this person's court. Yeah. This is you trying to heal, to make sense of things in your life. Yeah. Look, look how much power you have within you to manifest the life that you want, Virgo. This is you having the power to manifest uh, what you want in your life. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on the summit journey, especially. Oh, what's up? Virgo, you have a lot of people looking at you, interested in you. Yes, you do. Whether you're male or female, you're very attractive. People view you as enigmatic, alluring, picky, um, classy. Yeah. Be careful because some of those people are looking for something for nothing. They're looking for fierce flings. Yeah. Keep away from low vibration people. Yeah. <clears throat> 
this is you being selective, Virgo. Yeah, you have to be selective in life. Yeah, you have to be selective. You have to have high standards. Yeah, good for you. Let's see what's going on with the soulmate of yours that's missing you. You know, please show us <clears throat> what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo. And how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? <clears throat> I feel I need to shuffle more. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo. And how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? <clears throat> oh, yeah. So you had to let go because the situation was toxic. Yeah, something was unbalanced. So whether they gave you false hopes or uh, didn't offer a relationship like you were hoping or had somebody else, whatever the reason was, you had, you let, released them for valid reasons. Yeah, it was toxic. Yeah, you had to let them go, at least temporarily. Ooh, this shows uh, addictions. This shows that maybe this person is uh, feeling bound to you, like they can't let you go, can't release you. But it for this to show up in position one shows me that <clears throat> they feel angry about not just you letting them go but how you let them go there's something that uh, is making them upset <clears throat> yeah this person thinks very highly of you however yeah you see they want you back virgo this person wants you back the sun the best card in the whole deck they respect you whatever it is you said to them they respect you for being honest um, they didn't like some of the things you've said, but yeah, you see, they want to manifest you back in the life, Virgo. They do. Universe, please show us. <clears throat> this combination, though, is worrying me because this uh, means some kind of addictions or addictive behavior or obsessive behavior. Universe, please show us. Um, maybe they constantly checking up on you, uh, spying on you or keeping tabs on you. Um, hmm, you must please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo and how's the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time. Yeah, they've been patient. This person is not letting you go, Virgo. Yeah, this person feels this is unfinished business between you two. Oh, they want to know if there's somebody else in your life. You have a lot of people interested in you, Virgo. You do, and some of those people are of high quality. Yeah with high standards, yeah. Um, this person wants to manifest you back in their life. They love you. This person loves you, but they scared that you're done with them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you see, this is them uh, not taking action right now, trying to figure out if there's really anything they can do or if this is truly over. Yeah, you see, this is them missing you. They want to know who's interested in you and who you're interested in. Oh, interesting, only two cards. Yeah, you see, again, they're showing up as emperor. This person has very hard time expressing deep emotions. For some reason, they feel them deeply, but they have hard time showing that they are emotionally vulnerable. Uh, it scares them to feel such deep emotions because they feel like they don't have control over them. Yeah. Uh, they feel very vulnerable emotionally. This person is intuitive, very connected with you spiritually and emotionally. They're very intuitive. They view you as psychic, intuitive yourself, sensitive to energy. Yeah, they could be any astrological sign. All signs popped up in here. Mm. Let's see, Virgo. <clears throat> Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo? And how's the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? Ooh, they have so much respect for you. Look at this, Empress. Yeah, they view us very different. Yeah, selective, with high standards, with integrity, picky. They respect you for not chasing them, for not being needy or clingy emotionally or physically. Yeah, you're not chasing anybody, Virgo. Yeah, you see, they view you as marriage material, as very attractive. Ooh, they're so heartbroken. So there is something you said to them that broke their heart, but you were truthful, you were honest, you didn't sugarcoat. Something that they didn't want to hear, but needed to hear. 
the pride is very hurt. Yeah, this is them waiting for the right time to approach you. Yeah, you see? Mm. Yeah, waiting for this communication to happen. <clears throat> this person is in love with you. Maybe they realized that after they lost you this last time. This is unspoken love, hidden love, secret love, unexpressed love. Hmm. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. I just realized that uh, High Priestess card that showed up after Emperor shows that there's something that they want to reveal to you that they haven't revealed to you. Yeah. Um, so we're going to ask the true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up the sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Virgo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.